What's going on guys? Moritz here from Volkify.com and in today's video I want to share with you three mindfulness exercises that you can implement into your everyday life. And as you can see it is gorgeous October weather here in Stockholm so I figured I'm gonna go for a little walk while talking with you guys about mindfulness. Let's go! The first mindfulness exercise is quite simply to listen to other people. Now we are all out every day talking to people all day long, but how often do we actually listen to them? Like really listen. Most people when they talk to somebody are more focused on what they want to say next rather than actually be in the moment, listen to what the other person has to say and take that in. This is a really small exercise that you can apply right now, but that will make a huge difference in your life. Once you have practiced that for a while, you will notice that you will become so much more mindful in every single interaction that you have throughout the day. There is a really cool quote from the movie Fight Club that goes something along the lines of when people know they are dying, they really listen instead of just waiting for their turn to speak. So when I hear that, I am thinking, why wait until you're dying? Why not start listening to people right now? The second simple mindfulness exercise that I can recommend to you guys is to embrace the boring times. If we are being honest with ourselves, there is quite a lot of times in our daily routine that is simply not that exciting. We are waiting for the subway, we are doing the dishes, we're buying groceries. All these times can potentially be pretty boring. And those are exactly the moments where it is the hardest to become mindful and be present to the moment. This is when people zone out, they get out their phone, they scroll through their Instagram feed and they try everything to escape the boringness of the moment instead of embracing it. So if you are making an effort to become more mindful in your everyday life, those are exactly the moments that you need to focus on because they are the best exercise for your mindfulness. What I would recommend to you in those situations is that you simply acknowledge that this moment is boring and that there is nothing wrong with that. Simply sit there with this feeling of boredom and try to notice what is happening in your body, what is happening in your mind as the boringness increases and makes you more and more uncomfortable. What you will hopefully notice after practicing this a little bit is that the moment itself is not that bad at all. Doing the dishes is not bad at all if you really get into the moment, if you really embrace what you're doing with your hands, what is happening around you. You start to notice more and more detailed things in your environment and this is exactly what mindfulness can do for you. You become aware that the moments of your life that you deem boring, just because they are not exactly Instagram worthy, does not mean that they are boring at all. It simply means that you have not learned to see the small things that make them worth recognizing. So try this out, be aware that this might not be easy, even though it seems so simple, and don't be too harsh on yourself if it doesn't work the way you want it to work at the very beginning. Exercise number three for increasing your daily mindfulness is realizing that there is never any other moment than now. We spend so much time every single day either worrying about the future or living in the past. And this is something that you need to stop if you want to become more mindful to the present. Every time that you realize that you are following thoughts that bring you either to moments in the future or to moments in the past, realize that those are not relevant. Every single thing that matters is what you do and are right here, right now. And of course that doesn't mean that you can't have plans for the future or have great memories about the past, but what actually matters is what you do in this particular moment. So even if you have those great plans for the future, you need to make them happen now. And all the worries and problems that you probably carry around with you in your daily routine 
also shouldn't stop you from enjoying where you are right now. It shouldn't ruin the moment that you have. You might actually notice that the problems that you think are so big are not that big at all. And what makes them grow is rather that you constantly think about them. So try to be more in the moment. Try to appreciate everything that you have right then and there and don't worry too much about what happened in the past, things that you did wrong and things that you might have to deal with in the future. I totally realize that life can be really tough and difficult sometimes, but if you really think about it on a deeper level, most moments are actually great. And what ruins those moments is only what we project about the future and our past onto that particular moment. If you zero in on that particular moment, most of your worries will disappear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these three exercises are gonna help you to increase your daily mindfulness. If you did like this video, feel free to subscribe down below so you get more videos about personal growth in the future. Thanks for watching and talk to you next time.